Well, it's starting to get warmer now since summer is right around the corner. Uh, yeah, I mean, everybody needs a neck fan. I really love the air conditioning that they added to this latest model. You know what though? I haven't used this since last summer. I bet you a lot more people would use this all year round if they added heat. Huh? Now that would be a hell of a concept. Welcome back, my fearless fans. And the reason I call you fearless fans is because you're back watching me once again. Crazy. Makes you pretty fearless. Okay, so you're in the market for a nice, cool neck fan, right? Now, I'm pretty much willing to bet that you've landed on Coolify by the company Taurus. Am I right? Which should come no surprise because they are an extremely reputable company. How do I know this? Well, I've got a few under my belt here and here. So if you are having trouble picking the L3 or the Coolify air conditioning that they had last year, well, now they've added the new Coolify 2 to the mix. Don't worry, you've come to the right place. I'm gonna help you decide which neck fan is right for you. Who the hell am I, you may ask? Well, I'm Brannon No D. That's right, there's no D in this name whatsoever, hence Brannon, not Brandon. Do you guys dig the intro that you just saw? Do you enjoy this kind of content? If that's the case, you definitely need to become part of the Brandon OD family. Hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, and don't forget to hit all to be notified on the next video I post for you. All right, guys, here's how the video is going to roll out today, okay? I'm going to make it extremely short and sweet. Why? Well, I've been in the studio all weekend and I got chores to do. First, we'll cover briefly the L3 and the Coolify air conditioning neck fans. If you guys want more in-depth detail and all the specs, I'll be posting both links down in my description below, so check them out there. So that will leave us plenty of room to go over and cover in-depth the new Coolify 2. Why the hell am I rolling out my video this way? Well, <sighs> yeah. All right, first runner up is the L3 that I've done a year ago. And we're gonna cut to the chase right now. If you guys don't mind the air temperature blowing on your face of wherever you're at, then this is by far your first choice. And what I mean by that is I got a ton of questions and in fact, I've had a few returns because people don't realize that whatever the temperature of the air is, is what's gonna be blowing on your face, okay? So if you are out in 100 degree weather, you're getting a 100 degree wind blowing at your face. Obviously, it's going to be better than stagnant air, like I said in the original video, 
you have to keep that in mind, guys, okay? So if your main purpose is to use this mostly indoors, I think you'll be fine because mostly indoors is not gonna be that hard sun heat beating down on you. But you will get a USB-C on all three, which is nice as well. You have your right and your left labeled, and it also is very flexible. I always like that about this uh, particular unit. Goes on the neck. This is what it looks like wearing it. Sorry, my necklace is hitting it. So yeah, keep that in mind as well. If you wear jewelry, you're gonna hear it when you turn your neck. So press and hold the power button once, and it'll come out in low. There it is. Hit it again, you'll go into medium. Okay, and hit it once more and you're going into high mode, okay? Still feels good in here. I don't have the air on right now and it feels awesome, okay? So rest assured, if you were thinking about looking at this one for the, what is it, $89.99 on Amazon, and I'm gonna leave all the links down in my description below, but like I said, just keep it in mind, there is no air conditioning. So, on with the air conditioning. Here it is, the last year's model, the Coolify air conditioning. And that's right, that's this plate right here that gets cold within a second. And there is no lie about that. It gets immediately cold. So you have basically everything the same on the L3, but now they've added one plate of air conditioning. A couple things that bothered me about this unit was obviously the black was glossy, so it was a huge fingerprint magnet, but I also didn't like the fact that it doesn't swivel like the L3 does. It only goes out away, obviously to put on your neck, okay? And I mean, it's not a huge deal breaker, but I like that flexibility on the L3. I really dug that. Now again, you'll have your USB-C charging port, on the one side and you also have all the air vents along with the gold cooling plate. Now, you're gonna notice something extremely different on this year's model opposed to this one as far as the cooling modes go is the plate is no longer just one, there's two now, and it's not just at the back of your neck, it's at both sides. We're gonna get into that real soon, but first let's go ahead and show you the three speeds as well. Press it once and it'll be in low speed. Press it again, you got medium, and one more time is high. Let's go ahead and put that one on. Just the fan mode really isn't much difference than the L3, I'm not noticing, okay? But the key factor here is when you press and hold the power button, you'll hear a beep, and that engages the air conditioning. It's starting to get cold right away. You know, this would be awesome in a lunchbox. My God but it doesn't last as long. That's the only problem. On the hours you're gonna get on the fan mode, eight hours like the L3, but you only get two hours of runtime with the cooling feature at level three. So you gotta keep that in mind as well. All right, let's go ahead and shut this one off. And this one is still going for 140. What am I gonna bug in here? I got a bug in here. The hell, how the hell do I get a bug in here? Skylar, where are you at? No, oh, she's not even in here. She's not doing her cat duties whatsoever. I'm gonna replace her. Nah, I wouldn't do that. These are still retailing for 149. So they haven't changed the price at all on Amazon. Okay, so let's go ahead and cover today's debut on the Coolify 2. I think you guys are gonna be pretty impressed. Oh, and by the way, they actually give you a sleeve that came with the Coolify air conditioning one, and I really kind of liked it. I really kind of dug it actually. I, I, I like carrying it around like this more than the actual case that comes with the Coolify 2. And uh, let's show you that now. Here it is, kind of like a alien egg shape, okay? As you guys can see, you have rounded edges on both sides. So when you set it down, it wobbles. I don't know if I really like that or not. So I like the lanyard on it, that helps. But holding on to it and unzipping it, I mean, you're holding on to an egg almost. And then when you open it up, it pivots, you know what I mean? So I just, I don't know how I feel about the case. It's got a nice Velcro strap here. It's got a lid that you can put your cables in there and shut. Yeah, and don't forget to shut the uh, Velcro. And then you gotta shut it. Personally, I'll never use it. So yeah, I really like this better. Um, you can use it as a wiping cloth as well, cause you're gonna sweat, right? 
Also coming in the box, you're gonna get your typical paperwork and it folds out like an accordion style and it'll show you exactly how everything works, which I'll be showing you on today's review so you really won't have to worry about that. Also coming in the box is a USB-A to a USB-C charging cable and you got some length. It's pretty nice, definitely. You can get it out there, put it on a shelf and you know, you got room. Uh, why is it white and not black? That would match, right? Mm. All right, guys, let's take a look at the center of attention. Totally different design, am I right? They squared off the ends now, so they're not round anymore. So nobody's gonna wear them as a headset. I actually had a guy at work do that. I handed it to him, I said, hey, check these out. And he's like, wow. I'm like, no, dude, no, no. They're not a headphones, they're a neck fan. That was funny. I guess you had to be there. So obviously we have still the same spot, USB-C charging port, but then as you flip it around, you're gonna notice two buttons this time. You have one on this side, and you have the power button on the opposite side. Then you'll have all the air vents, but like I said, guys, there's plates on each side this time and not on the neck, which means, ah, we can go back to flexing. Much better, so glad they brought that back. Not to mention, you're gonna get air on both sides of the neck now instead of just the back of the neck. So I love that idea. And like the other two, you have three fan speeds. You go ahead and press the power once, but now you get a nice display and the F stands for fan. And I'm gonna tell you why that says that in a minute. Now it's showing the 100% on your battery, which is really nice. You don't have to gauge anymore on the dots. You'll know exactly how much percentage you have. And you're at low speed right now. Let's go ahead and shut up Brandon so you can hear it. Okay, press it one more time. You'll be at medium. And a third will be at the highest point. Okay, let's go ahead and try it on. And right away, guys, I like it because it's smaller than the other two. And that really makes a lot of difference when you're out doing some activities, okay? Uh, roofers, uh, people that work in the attic, construction workers, working out, jogging, all those things, smaller's better. In some cases, ladies. Press the power button once again, and you'll be in F1, but now you flip it over and you're going to hit this mode, watch. Press and hold it once. Now it says C1. So that stands for what? If you guess cooling, you'd be right. Oh, and I'll tell you what, now <laughs> the air conditioning is gripping around your neck back here. That is a huge, cooling difference absolutely wow oh does that feel good oh <laughs> sorry sorry we got to keep this review going right so what is the biggest feature of this year's model opposed to last year's they now have added heat yep they took my idea uh, actually it wasn't my idea it was their idea but let's think about that for a second okay they have a neck fan you use it in the summer maybe fall at the latest and you put it away. Is it worth that money for the small amount of months that you're gonna use it? Let's throw in heat and now you can use it all season long. Or even if you have a neck pain, guys, I'm telling you what, this thing is kick ass, watch. And now we're going to press and hold the mode, watch this. H1, guess what H1 means? I don't even wanna demo this right now because it's kinda of hot in here. Immediately heats up just like that. Now you've got two spots on your neck. I'm telling you what, you better not have to pee when you put this on because it'll definitely make you pee if you fall asleep wearing it. Yeah, remember the hot water and the heat thing? Some of you kids probably don't even know about that. Don't do that, it's not cool. Again, you have H1, H2, and H3 at its hottest point. I mean, they have finally come up with something you can use all the time, and I think that is brilliant. Let's go ahead and nerd out with me real quickly. I'll go over the specs so you guys know exactly what you're getting in the box, then we'll cover some pros and cons, and then I will help you decide at the very end. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and leave this on and running for the specs, because it's kinda hot in the studio. I hope you don't mind. Okay, what does the Coolify 2 neck fan have that the others don't? 
it has a redefined KU 2.0 chip. Don't know what the hell that is, but I can tell you what it does. It will chill your body by 27 degrees Fahrenheit in just one single second. And guys, I'm going to tell you, they are definitely not lying. This thing cools down or heats up in a second. Now with two cooling plates, like we talked earlier, they're saying it will cool every inch of your body. That's kind of a bold statement, okay? It's going to more like cool your face and your neck. It's not going to cool your entire body. Well, unless you move it somewhere else. With its 360 degree airflow, you get bladeless fans, just like on the other two. And bladeless fans are very important. Why are they important? People with beards. Okay. Ladies with long hair, men with long hair. You definitely don't want spinning fans to catch that hair. That would hurt. Has four ducts and dual layer vents that delivers high velocity airflow across your face and your neck. Again, face and neck, not covering the whole entire body. A three hour charge gives you 18 hours of usage. 18 hours. Okay. Hold the phone. Let's explain this in more detail. You're going to get 18 hours of usage if you use the fan mode on low that I'm doing right now. Plain and simple. If you push it up to the second mode, medium or high, it starts dropping in battery juice. Makes sense. But here is the kicker. On cooling setting at three, that's third speed, highest you can go, you're only going to get one and a half hours. So you need to know this. You need to know this. Don't get fooled by the big, bold 18 hours of usage when mostly you may need this with that cooling at a high speed. You're only going to get an hour and a half, possibly two. You might be able to stretch it to two, but keep that in mind. Oh, and you'll also get 5.5 hours on the heating mode. So that's good to know as well. You know, you don't want it on you for longer than five hours. Trust me, then gets hot. Now, talking about the neck, it's made of silicone memory base that gives you a 160 degree fit for all sizes with non-slipping. Another great feature. Also, when you're looking at other manufacturers of neck fans, because believe me, there's a ton out there. I've been approached by many, but I've only pretty much been dealing with Taurus and Coolify. I love their company which brings me to the warranty you get with Taurus. They're going to give you a 180 day warranty and a 30 day, no questions asked, money back guarantee. So you've got nothing to lose. All right, let's go ahead and shut this off because I'm pretty much cooled off now. And let's go over the pros and cons next. Pro number one, Obviously, very cool. Love the heating feature, okay? I wrote that down first. Love the fact that it's dual plated now, not just on the back of the neck, plus you can flex it, okay? Nice feature to have. You got cooling and heating on both sides of the neck that is going to help out way better than just on the back. Another pro, the size of this is much better than the original L3. I mean, they definitely shortened it up, squared it off, I dig that, like that a lot. Not as bulky, very easy to wear, lightweight. And did I mention the heating option on this? Yeah, it's kind of nice to be able to use this all year round rather than just a few months. All right, let's cover a couple of cons. And the first con I'm gonna have to say is, I mentioned this on the last video of the Coolify air conditioning model being black and very smudgy because it's glossy. They did listen a little bit. It is a little bit of matte on each side, but you still have that glossy finish. Make it matte. I don't know why they don't. Maybe they need some flare and flash to the bling bling. I don't know. And the last con is the price. Yeah, that's right. A premium neck fan that beats out the other two is obviously gonna be at a premium price. Right now on Amazon, and I'll be sure to leave you the affiliate links down in the description like I said earlier. Yes, I do get a little kickback. It's not huge, but it definitely helps the channel and me make you guys these reviews. Retails for 179. 
Yeah, I know. It's a hard pill to swallow. It's expensive, especially with last year's model being 149 and they haven't changed the price at all. It's still the same price a year later. Uh, they actually jacked up the price on the L3 up 10 bucks because I believe it was 79 when I did the review and now it's 89. Would I recommend the L3? Like I said, only if you guys are mainly using it for inside. If you're not, don't waste your time. Don't waste your time. It's gonna blow that air on you wherever you're at. If you're out in hot weather, it's gonna blow the hot air on your face, okay? Don't waste your time. Now, would I recommend the Coolify air conditioner over the Coolify 2? Well, now that's gonna be something to decipher, okay? Let's take a look at a few options because we're talking a $30 difference here. So what do you get for $30 more? Okay, let's just pretend you're already gonna buy the 149. Now you say, well, should I get the Coolify 2 for $30 more, what am I getting? Okay, that's where we're at right now. You're gonna get, obviously, a better style. You get the Flex that the other one does not have. You get the two cooling plates. I think that alone is worth more than $30. Two cooling plates versus the one on the neck and heat. So this one gets put away for the winter. This one stays out. Kind of a no brainer, but it all comes down to your pocketbooks. And that is the most important thing. So hopefully I helped you guys in making a decision today. Go and check out my other two videos, get all the specs, put them all together, weigh it out, and I'm sure you guys will definitely have a lot more knowledge and know what to do. Am I forgetting anything? Oh, almost forgot. You can also get them in white or ocean blue now. They've brought in a new color. I kind of wish they would have sent me the ocean blue. I mean, blue is my favorite color. <laughs> oh yeah, found Skylar by the way. Hey, uh, you want to do me a favor? Don't complain. Just go get the bug for me. Yeah, go get it. Thanks. Appreciate it. Do your cat duties. Before I let you go, we're going to open a fortune cookie because that's what we do on the channel. We open fortune cookies. Oh, we're two for two. At least I got fortunes in both fortune cookies. Many success will accompany you this year. Boy, do I hope so. Man, one can only hope. Please. This year has sucked, guys. I mean, let's be real. We're not gonna get into it. If you guys have stuck with me this long in the review, well, I commend you for one, and I have to let you know you're a little out there. But hey, I'm no judge. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out to see that next video I post for you.